Hey, what's up everyone? It's Amanda from Note Tracks, and today I'm giving you a quick tutorial on how you could start leaving comments on audio files. If you've ever worked on an audio project like a song, an album, a podcast episode, an interview, it doesn't really matter what it is. You've probably felt the need to share feedback with the people you're working with or make notes on the audio project itself. So if you're interested to learn how to, you can do that today with Note Tracks, then keep watching. We're gonna start by clicking the new project button. And when this screen pops up, you're gonna ensure to select audio as your project type and you're gonna give your project a name. I'm working on a piano mix today, so I'm just gonna name my project piano mix. After we click done, we'll be greeted by the workspace. And the very first thing we're gonna to have to do is import whatever audio project you're working on. So there are a variety of ways that NoTrax allows you to do this. So you can click either of these two buttons here or you can drag and drop. You could also import from Dropbox or Google Drive as we know a lot of people who create audio projects utilize those to store their projects. However, I just have my file on my computer today so I'm just gonna upload that way. So now that we've got my piano mix into the station, we're ready to leave comments on an audio project. So the very first thing that we're gonna do is ensure that we are under the comment pane. We won't be able to leave comments unless we're under this pane and we don't wanna accidentally be in editing or drawing. So just ensure that's selected at the top. Once you have that selected, you can navigate to the bottom of the screen to use some of these playback controls to kind of move along the project to find where you'd like to comment or you could also just click on the waveform and the cursor will move to where you click. To leave a comment, you could press the new comment button here. And at 10 seconds in, I hear like a weird noise. So I'm just gonna tell my editor who I'm working on with to remove background noise, please. Once you press post, the comment will be visually available in the workspace for everybody to see, which is really, really handy for making edits, leaving notes, and feedback in general. You could also leave comments just by double clicking along the waveform. So I could click right here, and then commenting becomes available once again. Additionally, you could also select an entire kind of section of your audio project and you could leave a comment on the entire duration, which is really, really handy if there's an entire section that you want to make a note on, leave feedback on, etc. One last thing, you could also use this triangle here to move your comment along the waveform. So this will allow you to leave super, super precise comments where you need them. Uh, and that's kind of the gist. So if you're interested in leaving comments on your audio files today to either refine your feedback process or make taking notes on your audio projects easier, then check out notetracks.com and get started today. Thanks.